Hello friends, welcome back to another AI tutorial. My name is Iman. This is Iman Global Channel. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. In previous videos, I talked about Runway ML and Gen 2 and taught you how to create cinematic videos using this AI. But now I'll provide a brief explanation. Runway ML is an AI research company that develops tools to make creative AI accessible to everyone. Their flagship product, Gen 2, is a text-to-video and image-to-video generation tool that lets users create realistic and engaging videos from text descriptions or existing images. Gen 2 is used in a variety of fields, including music videos, short films, commercials, explainer videos, product demos, and educational videos. In this video, we specifically focus on camera movement control and runway ML within the Gen 2 section. I will teach you how to create camera movements such as pan, tilt, roll, zoom in, and out. First, we open the runway ML website in a web browser. As you can see, this is the runway ML website. On this site, we sign up and create a free account. After that, we enter the dashboard where various artificial intelligence features are available to us. Gen 2 is one of the services provided by Runway, which allows us to convert images to videos. Now, let's go to the Gen 2 section. In this section, we need to upload the desired image. I click on the Upload a File option. After uploading the image, a video is generated with default settings based on the image. The point to note here is that in a free account, it only creates a 4 second video for each image. Now, I click on the generate button. After a short while, a video is generated based on the image. Now, we can watch it by clicking on the play button. This video is generated according to the default settings of runway. However, I will guide you on how to control the camera movement for the image to video service. In the next example, I will teach you how to control the camera and create zoom in and zoom out movements using image to video in Gen 2 from Runway ML. Now, we enter the Gen 2 section. On the bottom left, by clicking on these icons, we will have access to the camera control and motion settings section. I click on the advanced camera control option. There are many options available for camera control, such as pan, tilt, roll, zoom in, zoom out, and even camera speed control. In the horizontal section, by clicking on the left and right arrows, you can create and control pan movements for the camera. In the vertical section, by clicking on the up and down arrows, you can create and control tilt movements for the camera. In the zoom section, by clicking on the plus and minus signs, you can create and control zoom in and zoom out movements for the camera. In this section, you can use the clockwise and counterclockwise icons to create and control roll movements for the camera. And in the speed section, by entering your desired values, you can affect the speed of the movements. Now, I click on the upload a file option. I select an image from my hard drive and upload it. After uploading the image in the zoom section, by clicking on the minus sign, I specify and set the zoom out motion for the camera. After that, I click on the generate button. After a short while, a video is generated based on the image and the camera motion I defined. Using the download button located at the top right of the image, I download this video file and review it. As you can see, in the image to video process using Gen 2, the zoom out motion is also visible. Now, with an example of image to video and runway ML using Gen 2, I'll teach you how to animate camera pan motion. To do this, we enter the Gen 2 section. I click on upload a file and select an image from my hard drive to upload. While the image is being uploaded to Gen 2, I click on the advanced camera control option. By choosing the left direction, we can create a pan camera movement. So, I select the left direction. With this selection, after the image to video process, the camera will move to the left. Now that the file upload is complete, I click on the generate option to create the video. After a short while, the video is generated in the image to video system based on the camera's pan movement to the left. I download it by clicking on the download button located in the top right corner of the video frame. As you can see, the camera's pan motion has been created according to my settings. Even though the video quality is not great, the camera movement is completely accurate. Now, using the features of Gen 2 and another example, I will teach you how to create camera tilt motion in the image to video service. 
To do this, we navigate to the Gen 2 section in the Runway ML dashboard. I click on the Upload a File option. I select another image from my hard drive and upload it. I wait for the image to finish uploading and the Generate button becomes colored and active. I click on the icon on the left and below the image upload frame, which is related to motion and camera control. Now, I click on the Advanced Camera Control option. By selecting the up and down directions, we can create tilt camera movement. And now I choose the upward direction. With this selection, after the image to video process, the camera's tilt movement will be upwards. Now that the file upload is complete, I click on the generate option to create the video. After a short period, the video is created in the image to video system based on the tilt camera movement upwards. I download it by clicking on the download button located at the top right corner of the video frame. As you can see, the tilt camera movement has been generated according to my settings, and the camera is tilting upwards. It's worth noting that the video quality is not great, but the camera movement is entirely accurate. By clicking on the generate button, we can have several other variations of the image to video process to achieve a desirable quality. With another example, I'll teach you how to control the camera and create roll camera movement in Runway ML using the Gen 2 features. Now, we are in the Runway ML dashboard, and I click on the Gen 2 tab. I click on the Upload a File link. In a new window, I select and upload another image from my hard drive. After the image upload is completed, and the Generate button becomes colorful and active, I click on the icon on the left and below the image upload frame, which is related to motion and camera control. Now, I click on the Advanced Camera Control option. By selecting one of the clockwise and counterclockwise direction icons, we can create roll camera movement. I randomly select one of them. With this selection, after the image to video process, the camera will roll upward. The image file has also been uploaded, and I click on the Generate button to create the video. After a short wait, the video is generated in the image to video system based on the roll camera movement. I download it by clicking on the download button located at the top right corner of the video frame. As you can see, the roll camera movement has been generated according to my settings, and the camera smoothly executes a roll motion. I acknowledge that the video quality is not great, but the camera movement is entirely accurate. To achieve better videos, we can use the Generate button to obtain several other variations through Gen 2 in the image to video process to reach a desirable quality. In this stage, I'll teach you how to adjust and control the camera's movement speed in Runway ML and the Gen 2 service. In the Runway ML dashboard, I click on the Gen 2 thumbnail. I click on the icon on the left and below the image upload frame, which is related to motion and camera control. Then, I click on the Advanced Camera Control link. In the Speed section, by entering your desired number, you can make the camera's movement faster or slower. Higher numbers will increase the camera's movement speed, while lower numbers will decrease it. I hope this tutorial on image to video and controlling camera movements and speed in Runway ML with the Gen 2 service has been helpful for you. If this video has been educational for you, please like it and leave a comment. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on future AI videos. I'll see you in the next video.